before I start with the questions, do you mind telling us a little bit about Johnny On It, where it came from, how long you guys have been around? Yes, yeah, so uh, Johnny On It is a mobile app that connects realtors and homeowners to the service industry in real time. Uh, it was uh, founded by, uh, by me in 2016. I used to uh, work uh, in corporate America for an insurance company called Affleck. And uh, one day I needed the plumber to come out to our house. So I went on to the internet, like most people do, and uh, tried to call three different plumbers. The first two didn't respond to me, uh, didn't even call me back. Uh, the third one uh, did respond and said, hey, I can only be there next Thursday between hours of two and five. I had to take half a day of, of leave, and uh, I just didn't really enjoy the customer experience. So I set out to try and solve this problem. Very cool. So where did the name Johnny on it come from? Yeah, so uh, a funny story. Uh, I went to my wife after afterwards, and I said, hey, I've got this idea to try and Uberize the home service space. And she's like, hey, I'm all for it. Why don't you execute one of your ideas? So I said, okay, cool, I'll do that. Uh, sold our car, took $10,000 equity out of it, and uh, started Johnny on it. So for the next couple of weeks, I was spitting out names all over the place. What about this? What about that? What about this? And at 11.30 at night one night, she, she looked at me and she's like, it's Johnny on it, go to bed. I was like, Johnny on it, that's actually quite catchy. So uh, yeah, that was it. It is catchy. We keep and I were talking. We're like, it sounds so familiar. Like It's almost like a phrase that people say. So yeah. I like it. It's very Thank cool. Thank you. Um, let's see, so what, you've been in business for three years, you said? We've been building it for about two and a half years. Uh, we've been live in the market uh, since January. Okay, well, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. So we're pretty early in our life cycle. <laughs> Much more to come, right? Much more to come. That's correct. That's awesome. So what's been the most memorable milestone that's happened along the way for the past two and a half years? Uh, there's been a couple. Uh, the first one is being able to take a product out and putting it into the client's hands and watching the client use it. That's, uh, there's a special feeling when you get your first client, I can actually walk you through the details of it because it's, it's a vivid memory, uh, so to speak. However, the, the other one is, uh, it's also a pretty cool experience or, or, or memory, is kind of building our team and, and seeing our team kind of become a family as we try and solve this, this problem together. So it started with me as, uh, as the first person and then uh, we got our co-founder, Chris Copley, involved as well and got another co-founder, Jeff Gray, as well, who's had a couple of exits in this space. Um, and now we've got uh, the rest of the team as well that is, um, and it takes, it takes a family to get something like this up and running. That's awesome. It sounds like you definitely have a family atmosphere going on, so. We most certainly do and it's, uh, culture's very important to us. That's awesome. So how big is your company? How many people are in it now? We've got seven, seven employees. Very cool. Very yeah. Awesome. So I know you said you have a wife and you have other stuff going on at home as well. So how do you manage that work-life balance? I know that starting a business is a lot of work. Yeah, so it's... Um, being an entrepreneur is kind of weird because you don't have regular working hours. You work all the time. And you can work all the time because there's enough work for you to do. Uh, at, during the day and, and uh, during the weekends. It's kind of just important to kind of prioritize what's important in your life. So my marriages are extremely important to me. Uh, my kids are very important to me. Um, so prioritizing that, putting my computer and, and phone away as, as, as soon as I get home is, uh, is helpful. Trying to also surround myself with entrepreneurs that have done this, that have gone through that battle of trying to manage the family and work um, balance, that's also been pr pretty key for me. Very cool. Yeah. So besides all the work stuff, what do you like to do for fun? Like, What are your hobbies or what do you do outside of work? Yeah, so I'm a bit of a golfer. So uh, I, I, golfing is a part of my background. I used to play professionally for five years. And um, however, now that I've got this, this company, I don't get to golf. So unfortunately, uh, golfing is not on the, on the docket too much. Uh, reading, spending time with my kids, um, we go to the park often, and uh, yeah, mostly around family time, just because of that work-life balance. That's so awesome, I did not know you are a professional golfer. <laughs> um, what's your favorite course that you played? Royal Dornick in Ireland is one of my favorites. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a special place. 
Very cool. So did you play golf in college too? I did. I came here as, on a golf scholarship to Columbus State University in Georgia. Very so, cool. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, my mother just graduated from there. So oh. very familiar with the Columbus area. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, I met my wife there as well. Oh, awesome. Do you ever go back down there to visit? Oh, uh, we do. Uh, her family, her side of the family is, uh, is uh, the majority of her side of the family is still down in Columbus. So we, we tend to drive down 85 from time to time. <laughs> Quite often. <laughs> awesome. So what's the biggest risk that you've taken either in your business or your personal life? Yeah, I don't, I don't, you can call me an idiot if, if you like. Um, the biggest risk is starting a company with a four-year-old and a one-year-old at home. Uh, moving from uh, Tampa to, to Atlanta all at the same time on an idea, on a whim, uh, trying to get this company up and started. I'd say that's pretty pretty risky. Uh, it's been fruitful so far. We're, we're enjoying it. Um, but yeah, it's, you've got to risk it for the biscuit, so to speak. I love that phrase. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so as an entrepreneur, what's your most proud, or excuse me, what's your proudest moment? I'd have to say it's our team. Uh, being able to to take an idea and, and put it into the market, and then 28% of our customers are reoccurring customers right now. Um, that just tickles me to death. Uh, that tells me that uh, that they that they enjoy using the product and that they're coming back to use the product. Those are two key indicators for any entrepreneur as they put something out into the market. Um, but the biggest accomplishment is being able to uh, put our team together, most certainly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so, what are some other things that people might not know about you? What are some other things that people might not know about me? I enjoy psychology. Um, the 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 process of understanding how people and, and human behavior works is is fascinating to me. I do a lot of reading uh, on that subject. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty well versed on that subject. So as we're sitting here, I'm thinking, well, you know, what makes you tick, or how do I need to adjust my behavior to accommodate your behavior, and things like that. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going on in the background, but um, yeah, those are some of the things that most people don't really know about me. That's cool. So, Is that kind of the right answer? Yeah, or? yeah, okay, of course. Cool. Um, was your degree in psychology? It was not. I was actually a, a business degree, a specialization in marketing. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. The, I, I will say that um, you might not know this about me as well, is that I'm a customer um, success fanatic. The customer is just absolutely number one in, our, um, in, in my brain, and we don't do anything in our company that doesn't pertain to the customer's success. I love that. Customer success. <laughs> um, all right, so last question. What is your life motto? What, what do you live by? I'm a man of faith, so um, what we're doing right here is cool. Um, it, it's pretty interesting, it's fun, we have a good team, we have a good family, um, but I'm not rooted in the success or failure of a company. Mm -hmm. I'm rooted in my faith and, um, and that's, that's pretty important to me. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you, Ben. Did you have anything else? Um, if anyone is interested in trying your service, where can we find you? Yeah, you can download us, uh, Johnny on it, J-O-N-N-Y, on it in the App Store or Google Play Store. And you can also go to our website, johnnyonit.com. I'd encourage you.